Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a tutorial on how to do a free Minecraft server. Uh, this works for the cracked version, uh, I believe, and also the regular version. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, first, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make a uh, uh, folder on your desktop called uh, server. You're going to open it up, and then... You're gonna to go to this site. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, and you're gonna to want to first late download the latest recommended build. It's probably gonna put it as one. Nope. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, this isn't supposed to happen. It's because there's something wrong with it right now. Alright, well, the, I'll put, I'll just uh, upload this one. It's the same thing. Uh, since it's the same file, I'm just going to. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a bucket server, by the way. Uh, there's other kind of servers, but I don't know how to make those, uh, to be honest. Um, I'll copy it. And then server paste it in here. And then you're gonna to wanna to come back in here and Oh my god. Fucking A dude, it's not copying now. Oh well whatever. Oh yeah, you're going to need to open Notepad for this part. And then you're going to... From here, you can either go to your... The Java uh, page or whatever. and uh, Or not the Java, but where the program files is. Like, uh, to get directly to that. Or you can just leave it like this. Uh, then you're going to go to Save open up this you're going to want to put it in the new folder that's called server that we have just made which is right here you're going to make it all files you're going to do run dot bat that's going to do that and then as you see you can see it's there's that all right uh after you do this, you can pretty much one second. That's about all you had to do, pretty much. Uh, now I'll show y'all how to. Oh, okay, here's what I forgot. Sorry, guys. You're gonna want to let this load. Okay, never mind, I already did everything, I don't know how to look, wait for it to load all that. Alright, uh, after it loads, just after it starts up that part, you're going to want to open up the server properties. It might ask you uh, that it's whatever file you can open, uh, what do you want to open with, or Windows can't find what it wants to open with. Uh, go to, use a, uh, one of my programs that's already installed or whatever, and click on Notepad. Uh, after that, you can mess with the level name. You can have Hell World, which is another world if you want it or not. Uh, spawn Monster is just true. Is uh, yes, it spawns it, or you can use it a false if you don't want it. Uh, this is depending on if you want only people that have premium accounts, or if you want them and the cracked people. Uh, it depends on who you want. Uh, I usually keep it on true since I already have premium, and uh, then also you don't have as many people that are griefing since whatever. Uh, spawn animals, put it as true is what I do. Uh, 
Max players, I left. The, I'm just gonna leave it the same. Server IP, you don't have to change that. Uh, player versus player, you can turn that on and off, on or off. Anything that you want to turn on or off, if it says true or false next to it, just change it to true or the, the either or, uh, and it'll work. Um, false, of course, means it's not going to be what it says. Uh, then you go down to server port. Okay. You want to go to server port, uh, you can either leave that the same or you can change it. Uh, allow flight, it depends on if you have the fly mod or if you want people to use fly mod or anything like that. Uh, if you don't want people to use it, put as false. If you want people to use it, put as true. Whitelist, uh, false or true. Spawn protection is if you want uh, people to be able to build and spawn, put it on zero. If you want people, or you, if you don't want people to build, then leave it at 16. Alright, uh, after you do that, you're going to want to, if you want any ops, like, uh, or whatever, put it in this folder. Uh, then you're going to look up. New folder. And this one should be called Plugins. Okay, you're gonna want to name the folder plugins, of course. Alright, after you do that, you can open it up and then, here, how long has this video been going? Six minutes. Alright, after you open it up, damn, this thing goes fast. Uh, after you do that, you're gonna go to bucket.org. Uh, you're gonna wait for it to load. Forms. Temporary plug-in plug -in list. Uh, and then, first, you're gonna want to do plug essentials, which, uh, is stuff like uh, give items, blah blah. See this right here. Uh, I should already have it though. PLG essential. So I'm just gonna copy it since I don't wanna have a bunch of different. Oh my god. And then the new server. Uh, paste in here. Um, and different, pr uh, different kinds of plugins have different things. Like they'll have different folders, or they'll just have the jar and all that crap. You just drag into the plugins folder. Uh, after that, you're going to want to before you can go online, you're going to have to port forward, which you go to your whatever. Uh, which my router. Uh, it's, you gotta go sign into it or whatever. Port forward. You're also gonna want to open up CMD, which is the command prompt. You're gonna type in IP config. You're gonna scroll all the way up to the top where it says IP4 address. No, IPv4 address, my bad. But it's the very first one. It's under the wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection, which is right under where you typed in all the shit. Uh, you're going to want to go to your port forwarding section for your router. You're going to want to add custom service. Call it whatever you want. Uh, call it Minecraft is what you'd probably do. Uh, then whatever you put as the port for the properties which is 25565 which I'm not going to do since I already have that uh, port forwarded but you just put in here 25565 then you're going to want to take the number or the actual uh, IP address thing that it gave you the IPv4 and you're going to want to put it in here 
but since I already have that done, I'm not going to need to do that. Okay, after that, you're going to fucking... Alright, you can close this after you do that. Uh, after you have port forwarded it, you're going to want to go to the server. You're going to double click the run.bat. Let it load. While it's loading, I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Oh yeah, and by the way, the first time you uh, let it load, it's going to do the spawn area take forever. But after that, it should be pretty fast. Uh, and then, after I'm done with this part, I'll show you my other server. Uh, and I'll put it as being able to be downloaded. And then y'all can download it if you want. Uh, it's pretty good. It has a bunch of plugins. And it's uh, it's a cannery. Or carnery, or whatever the fuck it is. Canary or some shit. Uh, that's what kind of server it is, uh, so, yeah. Let this load. You're gonna wanna type in localhost. Oh, and, here, one more thing. If you don't want to use, uh, this. One second. If you want to use... No, I don't want to go to that. Sorry about this, guys. It's fucking... I forgot my uh, friend did it. But if you don't want to use the, uh... Port, and, like, if somebody else is using it in your house or some shit, or if you want, like, to use two different computers for port forwarding for this, you're gonna have to change the port number. Um... Sorry for this shit taking so long. It's pissing me off. You're gonna... Okay, it's called canyoucseeme.org. And I will put a link in the description also. Uh, I'll probably, I might put some of these links as adf.ly just so I can get paid for them. Sorry, had to make some kind of money. Uh, if I do get paid enough, I will put an actual server hosting site and have a 24-7 server open for everybody. Uh, just type in the port. Uh, and click check and then as you can see it says success I can see your blah blah on port your ISP is not uh, blocking the port uh, and then you will need this for people to join which I will show you in a second you can join by just clicking or typing in localhost on your multiplayer and logging in and then You might might not load right away. Okay. Well. <laughs> He's wondering why, uh, <laughs> he's getting, he's freaking out. Okay, well, as you can see, you can have more than one. Uh, here, and I'll show you all the other one that I was talking about. Okay, go to... And I'll put this one, uh, I'll put it as a zip file, and I'll let y'all download this one if y'all want. Uh, y'all just gonna have to change whatever y'all want in it.
going to finish doing all the command prompt before it'll let me log in. And you're going to have to keep the command prompt open while you're playing or else it will end it. And then for this, you have to log in to your stuff. Uh, I turn fly mod enable on this server. Uh, you can go ahead and change that if you want. If you don't want people using it, um, and Steve Kim Teacher Studio is making my computer lag, so not everything is doing it as fast as it can. Uh, but here's the overall thing. Uh, this thing has economy and all these other different uh, types of plugins on it. Uh, so yeah, and I'm getting messages on the message. Okay guys, uh but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go upload these things. Uh so hope this helped y'all out. Uh good luck and comment, rate, subscribe.